before we get started, I always ask, uh, so this is a private coaching. Um, you said you do not care if this goes on YouTube, correct? In the thing, is that still standing or no? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, well, welcome. Let's see. There's silver Yorick. So let's try to help you out, brother. Yeah. I'm going to share my screen right now. Um, why don't you tell me what your goal with the game is while I fire everything up here on my end? Uh, I've been playing the game for a long time. I know I'm not great at it. Um, so really just looking for an opportunity to learn more okay. than anything. So you like but... you like York specifically um, right now. So <clears throat> when we're talking about York in particular, the thing that normally holds players back is they don't understand what York's framework and in, in identity is. So I'm going to just grab a random game and I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is I'm just going to see you doing some goofy stuff early and I'm just going to kind of give you the archetype of like what we're trying to do. So to use it in comparison, do you know Kled like as a champion, you know, his abilities and kit and everything. Um, so I've never, yeah, it's fine if you've never played him, but, but the thing is, is like, so I had a client yesterday and he's playing on the Japan server and he was doing pretty well on his own before you get the coaching anyways. But like, I gave him kind of like a framework for Kled. So like Kled's identity is you try to bully lane, you try to get a kill, you try to dive if possible, but you mostly try to spread your lead to the other points of the map. Now with Yorick, Yorick is like the quintessential split pusher. He's one of the only ones left. I mean, there's, there's only so much you can do split push wise, but you have some good things going for you right now with Yorick. First of all, you're in low elo, which means that you still get to have fun in this video game. And by that, I mean, you can just <laughs> split push on your own and practice on your own. And you're not really beholden to what anybody else is doing, right? So you don't have to care if, if your team sucks because you can just split push the entire game and learn something every single game. The next thing is that the itemization actually favors you. So Triforce and Hallbreaker together have gotten buffed uh, in a way because tri I believe, uh, like Hallbreaker has a little move speed added now and Triforce, I believe, got a slight buff. I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm right. I think I'm right. But the point is, is that you've got good itemization to split um, and to play your game. And while Yorick isn't necessarily the biggest, you know, 1v9 carry champion in the world, you're gonna have a lot of fun pushing and and learning his uh, his nuances. Um, so let's just scan this game, and I already have a feeling what's coming when I'm about to watch this. Yeah. And let's talk about York's framework first, okay. real quick, um, before we watch this. So our goal with York when we're playing is York is a test of whether or not. You pull waves in, you push waves out, okay? You pull waves in, you build a wave, you push waves out and survive. That's Yorick okay. explained, okay? That's your entire framework. You pull waves in, you slow push waves out. If you do this and you do it reasonably well and understand what your, your functions are when you're playing Yorick, you're going to be dominant. The problem is, and this is why I said what I suspect you're going to be doing, is playing too close. To, I'm just guessing. You're going to be playing too close to the wave, and you're going to be getting yourself caught before you can build those big pushes. The other thing here is that there's really, you know, in low elo, um, in my opinion, you don't have to go TP. If you want to go TP, you'd be better off doing TP Ignite than TP Flash. And the reason this is, is because for most players, at least in my experience, it's better to learn how to just fight and die on waves than it is to try to outplay people. No offense, sure. if you're playing Yorick and Loila, you probably don't have the best mechanics. So if you're going if you're going TP and flash, you're saying, well, I want to try to outplay somebody with flash. But again, pull waves in, push waves out. We just take manage we basically just take a wave, manage it, and then fight and die on it is how I want to play. Is how I want you to play for now. Because you're at an ELO sitting in Silver three, you're in an elo where if you do nothing but this, you'll climb v very fast, actually. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right on the wave management piece. I find myself constantly, like, if I lose a trade and then I get bullied off the wave, it's like I lose the entire lane almost yeah. immediately. I can't recover. Yeah, so here, um, right off the jump, you never always assume early game pathing 
if you're facing like a Riven, um, an Aatrox, I mean, really, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be early gaming anybody level one because she just she just won lane. Technically, I mean, she didn't because it's yeah. Elo, but like I'm saying that if this was a higher level game, you're out of you would be off of these minions now. You wouldn't be able to get any of these minions. Um, also, you started Q, which is illegal. You need to start E because what are we trying to do? Use the same exact wordage that I just gave you. Uh, like control the wave. I don't remember the exact words, but right. control Pull the waves wave, in. have it push in. Pull waves in, push waves out. Okay. Pull waves in, push waves out. That's your, your whole responsibility. So when I'm saying pull waves in, what does that mean? So you see your health right now? You're playing mm -hmm. defense. When you're talking about pulling waves in, you're playing defense. This health already is unacceptable. You don't okay. take damage like this. If you take damage like this, you've already fucked up. So it, let's say you say, okay, well, niece, what if she's like, what if she's standing like right here and zoning me? Okay, that's fine. This is why, generally speaking, when you start a lane phase, you want to try to get out to the bushes early. And then all you're going to do when these, with most all laners, is you're just going to start E. Now, as you get better, like say you get like weaker lanes, maybe like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good weak lane, maybe like a Garen or something early who doesn't really do that all that much. You can maybe mix in some like auto cues. But again, our priority is pull waves in, push waves out. So I don't really give a shit about early trades. Additionally, okay. Additionally, Grasp is good, and I believe that's what you're going, right? Yeah, you no, went Conqueror. That's fine. Conqueror. Okay, good. Actually, I prefer you go Conqueror, to be honest, because, I, again, I don't want you doing anything early. So, this is fine. Okay. Um, but, like, a lot of players will go Grasp, and they'll be like, oh, I'll do these goofy trades. Again, not what we're after, and not going to win us the game. I don't need you doing some loopy-ass fucking early trades where you, like, try to space people with Yorick. It's just garbage. It's just not a good way to, to, to learn what your identity is. So okay. it's just really important that we keep her and she is zoning. Um, this is why you play if you played from the bush, if she you could force her if she face checks you, you just throw your E and back up and maybe like auto her as you back up or whatever. But the idea is that like you are very comfortable with the position of like, okay, I have to give up some farm. Ideally, if you play the bush and she never face checks you, that's great because then you can just wait for the E and then the minions get low because again, our goal is to pull waves in. So we don't want to push. We're just going to literally wait till the minions get low. You E them at the very last second um, and then you just turtle, 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 turtle. Okay, so I'm not autoing minions. I'm just no, them. no, you play like a mega bitch. You play like a mega bitch because you can't. To see what happens is you're in this position already. If, yep. you know, this is common with York players too. And this is why I said I could pull up a random VOD and I know this is going to happen. Because your champion is actually so useless in the first few levels. Very, very, very useless. When I face a York in, in Korea and like Diamond, they won't go anywhere near me. Because they know, right? Their whole identity becomes like, alright, I'm just going to wait until my turn. And that's how you need to think. What's cool is that since you have this simple framing, you can very reliably uh, get through these lane phases once you understand like, okay, I don't have to do anything swag. I just have to chill. And I'm going to explain to you here in a bit <clears throat> why that's so impactful. So here, you find out the hard way just how shitty Yorick is. You get the gank early, but, the, but you can very clearly see that like, you don't really do anything here. Yep. The huge minion wave also but yeah if you were like a uh, a standard like i don't know like a trindamir or a jacks or something this wouldn't really bother you all that much right and you would get the you would get the 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 gank but again this is not what you want you don't want any of this because notice how we never got the wave under and we never got to experience pushing out so there's mistakes happening big mistakes first one is you take a bunch of damage early levels Right, and then the next mistake yep. is you don't play back. When that gank shows up, you should be pinging him off and just letting the wave come under. Now, <clears throat> as you get more experienced and see like, okay, maybe I land some ease on this guy and maybe, you know, maybe this jungler's uh, a lot stronger than, you know, Ivor and York combo. Maybe you can inch your way forward and try to, to get the gank. But I need to remind you that like, you don't, you don't have to do that. You could just play your strategy. Okay. You need to think like 
I always use poker metaphors for a reason. When you go to a poker table, there's always the guys there that are just there to be tourists and they just play whatever hands they want and they have fun. And then there's the guys that are professional poker players and they just all have a strategy. They say, okay, I have these hands that I play. And if I don't have those hands, I sit. It's no big deal. There's no emotion. There's no like, oh, I feel like playing these weird hands today. That's not what they do. You see what I'm saying? They don't have to. Yep. Sure, they could win. But over the long term, they know that they would just play more consistent if they just wait for the, the hands that they have in their hand range. In this case, York's hand range would be pull wave in, push wave out, which means if this gank is coming and you've got a huge wave here, you know that your champion is weak. That's why we're pulling the wave in is because we don't want any part of it. We just pull the wave in. Hey, fuck off. I don't want this gank. If the guy insists, you can like throw a max range E. But the point is, is that you're not committing to the gank. As you can see, when you go in, you're committing. You're like, we got to go. Yeah, we got to fight this. I hope this works. Hope this works is not the answer early. Where Kale is ranged, like once I have the wave in the sweet spot, am I mm -hmm. still going to be able to like E walk up auto, walk yeah. back? Or should I be yeah. playing more safe? No, oh, you absolutely. It's the same rule every time, dude. Same rules every time. Um, <clears throat> technically, you're probably allowed to farm early, so you didn't need to start E here, but like, I don't care. It's still fine. You can yeah, E her. You can just... E her on the head when she does that, though. Like, you can. Because she's pushing so fast, you can just E right away. There you go. Yeah, and just back straight up. Good. Yeah, that's exactly right. See how you won the trade just by being patient? Yep. Man. Fine. No, that's fine. Then you can just chuck ease on her head randomly because you have corrupting pot, remember? Nice try. It's all good. Try to put like where her character model is facing, put like a box in front of her face and throw it there and you'll pretty much always hit. Okay. That's how I aim it. See where her face is pointing? Just aim, put it like a box in front of her head. I'm going to miss all those minions. It's all good. Shorter clicks and you won't miss them as often, but you click like you're 80 years old. No, shorter than that. Like tight movement. Tight, like you're actually gaming. You're playing an arcade game. Quick, quicker. You're not a slow person. You will hit more if you're constantly clicking. Yeah, there you go. Work the little, those little wrist, wrist muscles. <laughs> Yeah, so run your corrupting pot here because we took a lot of damage, which is understandable because again, it is ranged. But once you land the E, you do win. So right here, you can win. Yep. Cage it, walk up, cage it. You don't have to ignite her right away. She's going to have to flash. Yeah, see, she's always going to flash there, so you don't have to ignite right away. Okay. That makes sense. Now build your wave up, just like before. shorter clicks near the minions then you won't miss them like this because you're putting yourself so far away because you're clicking lazy and that's why it takes you so long to get up there that actually looks better that's yeah that looks better use your corrupting pot and then uh we're willing to just push this wave in and die like we're willing to die on the wave so should just start I, pushing I knock? no 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 okay. just auto the wave and just build the build the zombies up Yep. Keep autoing. It's okay if she hits you. You got a big wave. Just keep keep pushing. Because we just got to get this under, is my logic here. So just keep autoing, keep autoing, keep autoing. Then you can chuck an E on her head if you want. Oh my god. Yeah, now back away and recall. It's good. In the bush. Good. So there, yeah. Uh, you can Nocturne go. He's beating people up. I build your sheen. Let's get back on the map. Camera forward. What's the wave doing? I don't think you need a TP. Yeah, you could just walk. Because the wave's going to meet in front of tower. This guy calling GG at four minutes. Why? Uh, because he won. Yeah. Because he won. <laughs> Yeah, three kills. <laughs> yeah, three kills with Nocturne and low elo. It is pretty GG. <laughs> so just receive the wave safely. Remember, we don't take a bunch of damage for no reason. Okay, cool. 
So she backed off it. She's not going to pressure us, which is nice of her. This, yeah, I was going to say, you need to be queuing the shit. So we build some zombies up. Although, to be fair, I guess I don't want to push that fast either, right? But we want to build mm -hmm. up enough zombies because if we land the E here, she's dead. She yeah. has no flash. So that's how you should be thinking. Like, if I land this, she's dead and it's over. But I don't want to spawn my minions. No, no, yeah, that's correct. You don't want to. You don't want to rush it because you want to give her a chance to hang herself, right? If you push okay. really fast, she's not going to hang herself. We want her to walk up to the wave like a Nimrod, like that, and then you can walk up and fish, fish right away. Don't even waste time. Yep. Yes, cage old. Were you not in cage range, or am I tripping? No. Okay. If you, you know more than I do. I, I was pressing the W key and it wasn't popping. It was still walking. Uh, yeah, you just bomber with ease. Don't spawn your ult though. But you should be landing ease. Remember, point that E at her nose, like in front of her nose, okay. and put a box like in front of her nose. That's how I do it. Okay, ult, ult, E, and ignite somebody. Yep. That's fine. She played it well. She played it well. He has the she has the one ability that can stop you from trading out this fucking yeah. <laughs> this fucking strat. Go ahead and uh, grab a long sword and boots, and then TP for it is what I would do, so we can catch the wave. Uh, hover your cage. Are we not in range with the cage earlier? Mm, it's kind of tight. Yeah, that's kind of a tough one. Because you don't use a uh, manual cast at all, do you? I don't. No, I quick cast. I have a toggle. Well, I have a toggle. So you can do like shift. If you set that up, you can do like shift W and you can see the exact range. In those spots mm -hmm. where you're like chasing her, it might make it a little easier because I do that shit a lot. Since it's, since it's looking like chasing her down after we hit the ease of pain, we may want to just go like here two tabbies earlier instead of Triforce. You know what I mean? So that you can land. Okay. Yeah. Because like the first one, oh, wow. we, we, we missed the we missed our fucking all in because we weren't able to get the cage on her, which is fine. I mean, that just means she kited well. But we want to be able to catch her. Sounds, might sound stupid, but like Tabby's over Merc Treads just because. Well, it's she's... auto attack base mostly. Kindred's auto attack okay. base as well. It's not stupid. But you just know that there's a lot. You want to cage her right away. Don't let her sit here like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has no ult. You win. You hard win. Get behind her. That's really good. Get behind her next time. You started doing it and then you back down. Okay. Walk up and cage her again. Like, don't let her breathe. Yeah, that's perfect. Now keep pushing. Because you want to kill her under tower. She has no ult. Because you, you want them under tower like this. And just, as soon as you have E, fling it. Don't think. Good. That was perfect. Okay, use Corrupting Pot. You may want to dump a ward in River, although it doesn't really matter because we probably... Okay, you see Kindred. You can see Kindred. You're fine. You're fine. Get back in the wave. Yep. This is perfect. Nice. Yeah, this is huge. Now you want to take two plates. Oh, okay. Walk at her in a straight line. Don't even throw the ability. Just walk at her like the Terminator. Use a Corrupting Pot. Now take the plates. Now take the plates. Yep. And fling the E again if she wants to be dumb. No, just keep pushing because you'll have Ignite and Ult again. Okay, Kindred's coming. So back up like a minion. That's perfect. Maybe sit in the bush and then recall. Does she walk up? Because like I'd be so tempted to stay because she's so... Get to the middle bush maybe? See if she's there. Sit right there. Okay, push. She saw you. The minions, the minions saw you. Just push. Use your ult here. She wants to back. Use your ult. She has to want to back. If she TPs, you back off and then recall. You understand? The idea yep. is that, like, I, I think she doesn't have TP, but I could be wrong. 
Okay, run, 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 and there's recall. And then you'll be able to just walk back to lane. That's good. You can recall there. You're not in vision. It's just about getting out of vision. So I would go tabbies uh, first and then build towards Triforce. Yep, grab and go. Don't overthink it. Let's go. Let's just ping that. He has no flash. Let's just ping that. That guy has no flash and it's a it's a melee. Or not a melee. Uh, a range champ with no flash top. So just let him try to pressure this. Because if he gets this kill... Or Tried. gets it set up. Yeah, just push and then... Okay. Okay, fight it out. Push, push, push. I, think I don't think I'd take the tower, but... You could take two plates. Yasuo is above you, though. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to try to get the... the damage on this thing and then I would back off and maybe rotate over to this Yasuo after you clear this yeah let's just go to this Yasuo okay whatever we could just uh how much do we need for Triforce that's what I'd be thinking right now yeah just recall recall we're not gonna get very close to it oh why'd he do that no idea Grab and go, quick, quick, quick. Let's get back out there. Cleans up. Yep. <clears throat> that's like I said, that's what happens. Nocturne gets some uh, some easy money early. He's gonna queue and kill her too, yep. <laughs> yep, that was coming. I just slow push from here and try to land ease. Don't waste your E when she's near the wave like that. Because she's free money. Yeah. Now, a spot like this, you're just trying to get Triforce on time. So you're free to bomb ease at her, but realistically, we just want to get our timing on Triforce. So try to hit your farm and not die while pressuring her with ease. Should be pressuring her, though. She can't just stand here like this. There you go. Now push. Uh oh. No, yeah, just get, it's okay. It's okay. Just E her and get us out of here. Okay, so one more. Get it to the get to the tower. The minion's gonna give you a plate. Just get near the the, the tower. Yeah, right there. They should get it for you. It's close. Oh. It's okay. Use your corrupting pot. You're fine. You can cage, you can like cage the blocker too. Every Q should be a zombie right now, so you can pressure the E. Yeah, E here. Oh. Okay, cage and run. It's okay. Just cage and run. You don't have to like shit yourself and go crazy. Just cage and run. You keep like feeling like you have to go all in. You don't, you don't have to die. How much do we need for Triforce? I would just try to survive and get that uh, uh, well get the minion or get the, the wave under tower and then just throw your e at her if she goes crazy you can ignite back up throw your e and back up she still has ult throw your e stop overthinking it and just throw it <laughs> you have a billion mana just throw it because you're letting her decide if she's going to kill you or not just throw it just throw it don't think yeah, now run away and recall press b you, you keep holding on to this ability and you're just overthinking it and we could have three of them if you wouldn't wait so long to use each one. Okay. Now, TP forward. Don't waste time. TP forward quick. Onto the wave. To the wave. Yes. You want to defend your cannon. Now push hard because you have Triforce now and uh, Kindred's bottom. Perfect. Go back away. Maybe play her from a bush. Run straight away like a minion and sneak into the bush. Go up and around. Yep. 
That's fine. Wait, she's gonna try to push the wave and then you can fuck her up. Now don't overthink it, just point the bot. Yeah. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Beat her up. You have Triforce. She doesn't. Beat her up. Keep bottling. Then spawn your shit. Back away. Oh, okay, it's fine. She God. flashed on your head. It's okay. It's okay. Now Nocturne will kill it. Up here too. Yeah, Nocturne will probably clean it up at least. Grab your, your hole breaker. Oh, you're gonna get this kill. That's kind of on me having you go a little early before Maiden was up. But like, the the problem is, is you're you're hesitating. Just throw the ability. Okay. You're trying. Like I see it. I see it. And you're like getting in your own head. Just throw. Okay. You're gonna miss a billion abilities. Trust me. I've been playing for a long time. I miss abilities still. But when you think about it, you miss them worse. Trust me. Because not only do you miss the ability, but then you waste the cooldown. I would go mid. I would go mid here. You don't want to. You don't want to stack up a push like this. <clears throat> What's going on up top? Is it running into kale? So yeah, you want to push and try to get towers quickly. Yep. Keep auto, auto, auto. Q when they're low. Good. I'd go top and hold tower probably. I wouldn't give Kale the free tower. She killed them both. Yeah, but you can kill her. You can kill her. You have ult. She's strong, but you, you have ult and... Uh... Okay, try to sneak to the next bush behind though. Like the, uh, above golems, above your golems. She's going to keep pushing. No, she's not. Oh, let's just push into her then. Okay, ult and then uh, get ready to cage her. Yeah. Mm. E. Okay, oh. she's sidestepping. She's juking well. You can uh, back up until you have your E again. You're better off just fighting, yeah. Wow. Jesus. Just no ignite, that's I'd... why. She kills. He kills, though. He should kill, because he has fear. Good. I shouldn't... I, like... Had jank movement again. I didn't just commit. Yes, yes, yeah. You're better off just autoing at that point. Because you're not going to kite it. You know what I mean? Yep. Hold tab. This is a this is one of the tougher matchups you could have gotten. The Kale, who's like that guy's actually got reasonable farm in low elo, to be honest. So that's a, this is just a tougher game, a tougher laner than what you're usually gonna get, in my opinion. Just push bot. Are you taking a bot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this Kale until you go like uh until you get to like Hallbreaker. I think once you get Hallbreaker, you'll probably kill her. Maybe because like we can't just burst her down this particular opponent, we would need to go like a, a ghost or something. You know what I mean? Because okay. she's obviously like smart enough to just ult your all in and ult her team, which is better than most newbies. I think um <clears throat> it behooves us to try to avoid the KL inside lanes and just kill her team. Because she's like I said, she's obviously competent. So let's just try to get opposite pressure of her and like kill this Yasuo, for example, who's bound to be ten times easier than the guy that we're facing. Because he's not letting us just run him over, right? He's like dodging shit and like. Yeah. So you need to ult right away and kill this Yasuo right away. Ult him, cage him. Don't think. Yep. Just ignite him. Don't think. Push hard. Push, 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 push. Because you got four mid, you want to get pressure. This is huge right now. This is really huge because they're stuck in a fight and they're coming to you. You can, um, it's up to you. I would push. Yeah, I would push because uh, they're distracted by Nocturne. Yeah. So I think you're free to push.
good. And then I think I would just clear the wave and run away. Yeah, no, 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 clear. No, no, you just want to run away after you kill him. Run, run, run. Yeah, cage and run. Perfect. That was that was good use of. You see what I mean? Now run, 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 run. Yes, you could push the inhib, but the problem is you could get Baron right now if you just recall. Let's just ping Baron a bunch and then get in this bush. You're gonna TP oh to the. God. You're fine. You're gonna TP to the top wave. It's no big deal. You're gonna TP to the top wave. Okay. Okay. Get your get your hull breaker. Build towards your Sereldas. So TP to the wave Sereldas. up top. Yep. TP to the, the wave up top quickly. Don't waste any time because I want to get this tower. I want to really fucking make them quit. Plus, I gotta get to breakfast. <laughs> 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 and I, honest to God, don't think that. Uh, yeah. I see. They got an inhib though. So we're just going to push up and then back down. I don't want to get collapsed on. You have Kale though. You see Kale. So I would keep pushing for a little bit. I took two inhibs. Yeah, I would I would go for the tower. You have Demolish. Go for the tower. Yeah. And then E your head and beat them again. Yeah. And wiggle. Beat them again. Yep. I go to Baron. Go to Baron right now. Just run over and assist ping it a bunch. You guys have to tempo the game because you got early inhibs. You really have to go. Because once Kale and Kindred farm up, you guys are doomed if you don't end soon. They don't expect you to force a Baron either like this. Assist ping top and start pushing right away. You're not even going to back. Let's just ping the shit out of it and push top. Like, annoyingly. Yep, go up and E her and, like, pressure. Alright, get behind these minions. Don't use this way. Okay, well. Yeah, this is fine. You, this is fine. This is fine. You cage it. You got a pressure now, though. Kite back now. Kite back. Because you got to stay up. Okay, we gotta stay afloat. Run, 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 run. You're going crazy. Run. There you go. Just run. All right. Alt, upgrade your alt and slam a recall real quick. You're good. You can just recall. You can recall. No one can see oh, no. you, brother. No one can see you. No one can see you. You're like in Narnia. Now run to bottom and kill the Yasuo. Run, 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 run. I just, I really think that we have to end quick. Because yep. they do really scale. I know I was making the breakfast crack, but they do scale really, really hard. Auto and move at him in the straight line like the Terminator. Yeah, run, run, run. Right at him. You have a lot more move speed than he has. Make sure you auto minions, though, if you're near them, so you get more move speed. Auto and move at him. Yeah. Perfect. It's okay. You, you, it'll auto push. You're okay. You could have kept walking. That was actually good. That you kept walking. Okay. It'll auto push. I just remember. Blast yeah, I know. I, I know. I know. I know. But in that instance, you had so many ghouls that they were gonna just end okay. so, so many minions. You want mid? The you could just. Backing. You could rotate to mid and flank the Yasuo. Is what I would do. Yeah, just go around him. Yeah, put wards down too in the bushes. Let's just swing all the way to top. Let's just do a wide swing. Pull them away from us. See the wave up there? That's where you're going. The idea is that you want to just get away from the Kale. Oh, look. At, go to where he's going. Look at the wave. The blue wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go up there and then you catch him and then don't let him take our wave because he wants to push it out. Okay, he's not going to do it. Mm. Thank God. Because if we don't have this wave, we can't threaten to end. And that's really all this is about. God. Yeah, it's spooky. Punch dragon spawn. 17 seconds. Kendrick's coming to me. Yeah, we're going to E and kill. Immediately E. Yeah, walk at her. Walk at her. Don't back down. Yep, do it again. But fade away and ignite is what I would do. You said fade away. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, should I be going Black Cleaver or something different? Um, you should probably go like in this game. I would just go Warden's Mail. Do like a Frozen Heart or something. Since they have so much attack speed. This is kind of a different build, but like... They're so dependent on... Hot. Look at their comp. Like, hold tap. Yasuo, Kindred, and Kale. I think reducing their attack speed has immense value. Okay. That makes... It's this ping top, and pray to god they push with us. Ping the tower, the top tower. On Maiden, get on this big ass wave. How how leveled is Kale right now? Are we just dead? Oh yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. When's the dragon up? Okay. Uh, three minutes. Yeah, I think we need to just. I think if we can get our team to siege together, this could this could actually go pretty well. These corrupting pots. Just spam them. E, go E. Don't don't let her breathe. Ear 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 ear, please. Please, it's okay. Back up and cage. You really want to fight on this wave. Yeah, there you go. You really, really want to fight. Yes, that's what you want. That's what you want. Yes, GG. I think you win. Oh. Do you see what I mean? If you have big waves and you commit on them, you, yeah, yeah, you got to try to end. I don't know if we... I legitimately don't think we win if we get another fight. <laughs> Do you see if you... Look, if you fight on a big wave yeah. and your team's there, look at how you just end the game. GG. Good job. All right. Did you learn things today? Oh. The fuck? Sorry. I accidentally... Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I accidentally alt-tapped it or alt f forward the fucking Discord like it was League. Um... <laughs> So you understand your strategy, right? I have to go, but you know what you're going to work on. Now crank the games, just like we went over. Pull the wave out or pull the wave back, push the wave in, pull the wave out, push the wave in. Think tactically, hit me up in like a week or so and let me know how the climb's going. Um, your homework, show me examples of you pulling the wave out and all inning on the push, on the sweet spot. That's your homework. You can do it. You can... Uh, Basically, run clips from an app called Outplayed. You just look it up, okay? And send me that, and uh, yeah, you'll climb. Good luck. Thank right. you. Thank you. Peace. Bye.